What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and today it is 2021 edition. So for today's setup, guys, we do have a bunch of stuff going on in the backstage area. We got a parking garage. We got a lot of things going on. And as you guys can see, it is 2021 edition. So we're going to be making some predictions in this thing talking about what I would like to see or things that could happen coming into 2021, you know, on into WrestleMania, maybe right before WrestleMania, just at the start of 2021. That's what we're going to cover here today, guys. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into our WWE action figure setup for 2021. All right, guys, so I guess we need to start off over here in the corner. As you guys can see, I have my little room right here. It does say MDT General Manager. You know, uh, Becky Lynch is not giving birth in the general manager's office, okay? This is at a different set location. I just wanted to build this up real quick. And it kind of looks like a hospital room. You know, it's not the best. You get the little illusion if you close it in right here. You got the suitcase. You got your couch here. You got your chair. A little garbage. It kind of looks like a little hospital room slash delivery room going on. And right here, you guys will see, we got the man Becky Lynch and Seth freaking Rollins. As you guys know, she is obviously pregnant. Had to walk away from WWE. Relinquish her Raw Women's Championship, so here she is in the hospital bed with her man Seth Rollins, and we got a big old smile on Seth's face, and Becky is uh, ready to go, and I, I did use a napkin as a little sheet. So yeah, we got Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch always, and this makes me think, you know, Seth Rollins probably won't be featured in a big-time role going into early 2021, being that Becky is going to be, you know, that's, her due date is early 2021, so I highly doubt they're going to put Seth Rollins in a high-profile matchup going into WrestleMania season due to that reason, because he is going to have to take some time off when their child is born. So I have Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch right here in the hospital bed, and I thought that was a pretty cool little setup, and a huge shout-out to Mac Decals for the excellent stretcher that looks like a hospital bed. If we come outside of that, guys, you will see not only Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion, but we have The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Now, there is a lot of stuff going on regarding The Rock. Apparently, he retired. You know, he came out. He had, like, a little interview. He said that he secretly retired. I don't think that's true. I think that when Roman Reigns does finally return, when we get the full crowds back, I think Roman Reigns will end up taking the Universal Championship off Braun, off whoever is the champion at that time, and we will set up a big-time WrestleMania matchup with The Rock because The Rock's getting more popular, bigger and bigger by the day, and I could see him wrestling one more match with Roman Reigns at WrestleMania going into Mania season. Maybe The Rock wins the Royal Rumble. Maybe The Rock interferes after he retains the championship. I'm not exactly sure, but I do have The Rock and Roman squaring off right here, which leads me into another feud we could see in early 2021. I have Edge spearing AJ Styles. Now, this is a matchup that I think Edge just came out and said he's been wanting for a long time. AJ Styles and Edge getting into it here in the setup. You got a big spear from Edge, and I would love nothing more than a WrestleMania matchup between the two or even just a big time Royal Rumble matchup between Edge and AJ Styles. I think this is a perfect way to book it and I would give anything to see this matchup take place, especially in a packed out arena. I don't want to see it like we've been seeing wrestling. I want to see it in a packed out arena and I think the fans do deserve this and hopefully when the full shows return with, you know, all the live attendance and stuff, we will get, you know, better booking and better quality matches because of the big time delay, especially, you know, the crowds are going to be red hot. Moving forward a little bit, guys, we had to get into a little matchup that I would love to see in 2021, which I highly doubt. I think that, you know, Goldberg's probably done now, but you never know. You know, you got Goldberg and Matt Riddle squaring off. You guys know the little internet beef. If you don't know the beef between the two, definitely look it up. It's hilarious. It's great to see. And you have uh, Matt Riddle trying to choke out Goldberg in a real rear naked choke, and he's just got his legs wrapped around him right there trying to choke out Goldberg. I would love to see this. Brock Lesnar versus Matt Riddle is another matchup I would see. I have Brock Lesnar in another matchup, but this one would work for me as well. So this is our little left side of the setup. Let's move into the middle right here, and this one's pretty sick. I think this is probably my favorite part of the setup. You guys can see you got all this talent. Velveteen Dream, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, Undisputed Era, and the NXT Champion Adam Cole getting taken out by the Prince Finn Balor. He's got the NXT Championship. He's got the, he's got the finger gun to the head of Adam Cole. Adam Cole a bloody freaking mess, and I just I love this shot. I'm probably going to do another shot on Instagram where I get more like better lighting and you know I'll probably post it a little bit better and I'll get it set up but I think uh, I'm going to try and get Finn Balor to repost it somehow 
Ah, Christ, another figure just fell in the setup. I'll have to set that back up. But Finn Balor right here, I think his ultimate goal is the NXT Championship. So I think we are going to get an NXT Championship run out of Finn Balor. And by this time, he either will be champion or he'll be dethroning Adam Cole. I'm sure by this time he'll just be champion. And uh, he will have ran through all of the NXT roster. So that's how I have Undisputed Era. It's also Ciampa, Velveteen Dream. All of them taken out by the Prince. And I think this is pretty sick, nasty particle. So I got Finn Balor overcoming them all and becoming NXT champion again over Adam Cole and ending that long AF reign. Coming forward guys we do have Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair and Asuka all doing battle over the Raw Women's Championship. Now the reason I have this is because obviously Becky Lynch is stepping away. What better way to fill in that gap than with Ronda Rousey? Talk her into another contract. I know she's come out and said a lot of crazy things and talked about how shitty wrestling fans are but I would love to see it and I think that you could offer a big lump sum of money to come in fill in the division while Becky is out and you could get some good games out of it, especially this triple threat right here. Maybe a program between them two. I don't know. I would just like to see maybe a nice feud with Ronda coming in and filling in for Becky. If we come over here, guys, we do have an early prediction for 2021. Our truth still winning 24-7 championships. I mean, death, taxes, and our truth being 24-7 champion is a guarantee. And we got our truth winning yet another 24-7 championship over Mojo Rawley. Of course, it's got to be Mojo Rawley because you, you got to have it, man. You got to have him winning the the 24-7 championship, and R-Truth is doing that here in the setup as we continue. If we come right here, guys, you will see Sami Zayn going after Jeff Hardy on top of a ladder with the Intercontinental Championship. Now, this is just sort of symbolic. I think Jeff Hardy needs to win a championship in the later months of 2020 or into 2021. I would love to see a big-time ladder match won by Jeff. Winning a championship really doesn't have to be Intercontinental. I'm just going based off. I know we have the tournament taking place. Maybe he can win that tournament. Maybe, uh, you know, Maybe he'll be battling for it in 2021. But I do have Sami Zayn, you know, losing the championship. I know he did relinquish it, but I have him trying to capture it back. And he's losing in a ladder match to Jeff Hardy. So I have that set up right there. Ronda Rousey falling again. God in heaven. And now she won't stand up. I love it. If we come forward, guys, you will see that we do have John Cena hoisting up the WWE Championship. And that will break the record. I'm going off into either the Royal Rumble or WrestleMania season. Drew McIntyre will lose to John John Cena in a career versus title match, and I have the WWE Championship being won by Cena, breaking the record, and him not retiring. I don't see him retiring at this juncture, but it would make for a great stipulation and a great end to Drew McIntyre's long run there, and I know a lot of people wouldn't agree with it, but you know what? They do it all the freaking time, and if they're going to do it for people like Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, you can do it for Cena as well, and since uh, Drew McIntyre's not a super young talent, he, you know, he's still got a lot of time left in the tank, but you, you know, you can give it to Cena here, breaking the championship record, and he's hoisting up the championship over Drew McIntyre. Early prediction for 2021. Let's move over to the right. We do have a feud between Miz and Morrison. Now, this could take place in later 2020. Honestly, it probably will, but I did want to put it in the setup just in case they go all the way to WrestleMania 37 possibly with this thing. They could go to the Royal Rumble with this match, and uh, I think we will inevitably get this matchup between Miz and Morrison before it is all said and done, and I think that would be a pretty quality matchup right there nice feud I would like to see between the two. If we come up here, guys, you will see Ricochet on top of this truck on top of it laid out. You guys can see there. And then on top of this little structure, we have Kevin Owens on top with the United States Championship. Now, I am going off a feud I would love to see take place. Kevin Owens and Ricochet going battle in a nice series of matches. Can you imagine a heel Kevin Owens, babyface Ricochet for the U.S. Championship? Something I would like to see going into 2021. I, again, another great Royal Rumble match that could take place. Even SummerSlam would be nice. I know Andrade is the champion of at the moment, but uh, you know, he hasn't really done much with the championship. I'd like to see somebody else take it, and what better talent than Kevin Owens to take that championship and then get some good feuds like Ricochet and stuff, and uh, we have them doing war here. I think we'd get a great feud out of those two, so Kevin Owens and Ricochet would put on banger matches, and then if we come right here, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a feud I think we could see. Another potential Royal Rumble matchup, another matchup I would like to see, actually, and a matchup that I think Bobby Lashley was even promised when Sonny 
signing a contract with WWE, we have Brock Lesnar hitting an F5 on Bobby Trashley on top of the car now again. Now this is something that I think could take place. I think Bobby Lashley again was promised a matchup with Brock, so maybe we'll get that. We don't need Brock around any championships. We saw him lose to Drew McIntyre at Mania. Keep him out of the championship picture. You could have him go on with Bobby Lashley. Big marquee matchup. Big guy versus big guy. MMA backgrounds. This thing writes itself. We've had a rivalry sort of between the two. Not on television, but you know, like talking and in interviews and stuff. I'd like to see Bobby Lashley take on Brock Lesnar. Here's a great prediction for 2021 is those two guys locking up and something I'd like to see. Now another 2021 prediction. You guys know that Roman Reigns over here is your Universal Champion. Well, where does that leave Braun Strowman? That leaves him doing battle with a guy that nobody really likes, and that is Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan should be coming back to TV if they ever bring him back. I honestly could just see him getting released and him riding off into the sunset, but if you want to see him in a feud, what better feud than Braun Strowman? Big guy versus big guy again, and you could have Lars Sullivan, the heel version of Braun Strowman pretty much. Those two big guys go to war. I got him slamming on the slamming mobile that uh, Braun Strowman tore apart on Monday Night Raw that one time. So there you go. You could just have them beat the hell out of each other, and a lot of people would love to see that. So I have Lars Sullivan doing war with Braun Strowman. And to finish off our setup, guys, I have a career match. Uh, you know, the last matchup of Undertaker's career. The Fiend versus Undertaker, WrestleMania 37, live capacity crowd. The Fiend will take out The Undertaker finally and put his career over, and uh, we will finally see Undertaker finally retire in 2021. So I have The Fiend putting the claw onto The Undertaker and choking him out here in the parking lot garage area. And that is pretty much my setup. I had a lot of fun doing this when you make the early predictions for 2021. Obviously, we're a long ways away, but uh, you know, all this stuff could happen. I could see it happening in the next few months on into the next year or so, and I would love to know what your predictions are, guys. What do you think of mine? Would you like to see any of this stuff take place? If I could pick any handful of things to happen, I think I'd pick maybe, uh, I don't know, man. I, I like a lot of this ish. I mean, you got some pretty great ish. That's why I made this setup in the first place. It'd be hard for me to choose. I really want to see KO and Ricochet for the U.S. title be beautiful. John Cena winning his championship. Jeff Hardy with a singles title. Finn Balor will inevitably win the NXT championship. You can mark that down. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you guys for watching the setup. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.